And a legal perspective now on the case from Julie uh, Rendleman, who is the current defense attorney and a former assistant DA in New York City, and defense attorney Mark O'Mara. So what do you make of this testimony from the, the friend of Mr. Murdoch? I, I mean, I, I'm not sure I make that much of it. I mean, the issue really is about the time, um, because the question is whether or not he was calling him in order to establish an alibi. And one of the things he does say that is an issue for the prosecution is he says, he seemed very calm. He mm -hmm. seemed completely fine, didn't seem excited. And so, you know, the the argument, for, I'm sorry, for the defense is mm -hmm. if he's not very excited, then that bodes to them that he's not reacting. For the prosecution, I mean, that's an issue, although the prosecution can say, y you know what, he's lied to everyone. Right. His entire life about who he is. For decades. I mean, I, if you believe, uh, if it's true about the financial crimes, he's been lying to everyone for Including a long, long time. Including his best friend. Right. And so if, if he's able to lie to him on every level, then he's the type of person that maybe could cover up the fact that he might be a little excited that he had just killed his Allegedly, he's been lying about an opioid addiction even to his family, and I, I imagine the financial crimes to his family as well. Decades worth of lies, and what the prosecution doesn't have to do is give that much of a motive, but if they come across with an argument of he's almost pretty much a sociopath, right, with everything that he's done, stealing from almost everybody who he's come into contact with, then it's a little bit easier for the jury to make that leap of sorts that he could easily have killed a son and a wife, and then come across without a blip in his blood pressure, talking to a buddy of his. Mm -hmm. So you, you think know, you think that that witness could have could right. help the the prosecution? I actually think it helped the prosecution in a number of ways. None, it's another testimony concerning all of the financial crimes, and it's also showing that that possibly this guy is so sociopathic, so much that he doesn't care at all about how he presents himself yet. He's willing to do the other thing he needs to do is an alibi. Because that hurdle of how is it possible that a father would kill his, not, not just his wife, but his son, you know, at close range. Yeah, I, I mean, people, I, I, as a prosecutor, people killed each other because someone looked at them funny. Mm -hmm. I mean, or someone didn't like the way their chicken dinner was made by their wife. So so people happen to kill at the most random times. The, the issue is they think he planned it. And so it's not just an act of immediate reaction where he's suddenly killing his, his family. And so they think he actually planned it. And you have to accept that the motive, the finances, are the reason that he planned this elaborate scheme to kill his wife and his son. And you have to question why. By the way, he's a lawyer. So he's going to know that if he's if his wife is killed, who are they going to look at? They're going to look at him. They're going to look at his finances, which is exactly what he doesn't want. Well, also, he did allegedly have somebody hire somebody to shoot him in the head uh, for insurance purposes. Yeah, well, I... I I'm not sure I agree that he killed that he did that for insurance purposes. I'm I'm so suspect about that. I think my my theory uh -huh. is that he had shot, he had the guy, he knew he wasn't gonna be killed that day. He wanted another possible suspect out there. He was worried that they were coming towards him. Uh, by the way, I'm allowed to theorize because everyone seems to be theorizing, even right. the prosecutors making up kind of what things mean. But either way, it's a cold and whether it's yeah. actually to shoot you in the head or to make it look like you're having somebody shoot you in the head, it's cold and calculating. Oh, it's, yeah, it is. by the way, if you listen to the 911 call, um, which I've listened to a thousand times, I laugh because he's so sincere about the fact that this guy came along, shot him in the head. He, 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 he's lying. He's mm. lying through the whole thing. And when you put that next to the 911 call he makes, you start to say, who is this person really? Yeah. I mean, the theory of this case is so polarized, right? Either complete coincidence, very innocent guy who was just put upon by all these circumstances and an overzealous prosecution, or completely calculated everything. And that's why when the state brings out his other calculations, the stealing and the whatnot, the, the calm demeanor, even the the tele or the interview that he had in the car with these sort of tears but no tears and all of a sudden able to come out with a whole bunch of other opportunities to present evidence as to why someone may have done it. So the, I think the prosecution is doing a good job of mm -hmm. showing that polarization. This guy is just Evil. The sheer number of dead bodies in this guy's rearview mirror, though, who have died under bizarre, unusual circumstances or unexplained circumstances, is extraordinary. It, it is, um, but it, uh, again, it, you know that that's not why they're what they're no, supposed know, to be focused on. Yes. It's it's the craziest tale. And by the way, I, I was laughing. I'm like, there there's probably more <laughs> that we don't know about. Um, it, you know, it's interesting though when we focus on this case and talk about you know whether or not the motive really is going to connect to this. I do worry kind of about how the finances are going to impact the jury, and if the jury at the end of this case is going to wonder wh wh where why are we here? Are we here about the fact I'm mm -hmm. willing to convict him for all these finances? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It's 
that's led me to the murder. And that's, right. you know, if there's if there's three more uh, homicide trials that come up because of his every person that's come in his way, then right. that'll be an interesting next wow. couple of years. Julie Mark, thank you so much. Appreciate yeah, it. Mm -hmm. uh,